hearts, arrows, kisses, flowers, all in your hair? Learn unusual looks for Valentine's Day in our new video. Choose who you want to be on Valentine's Day. An angel or a devil? We'll show you how to do amazing makeup looks for each concept. If you went for the dark side of love, then get ready to do a red makeup look. For starters, apply burgundy eyeshadow to the crease of your eyelid. Blend it out. Apply a light shade to the upper eyelid and make the lower eyelid red. Define the waterline with a red eye pencil. Do thin black eyeliner up to the center of the eye. Attach a piece of a band-aid to the outer corner of the eye. Keep on drawing the eyeliner using matte red lipstick. Move the eyeliner further away from the corner of the eye. That's right, this life hack actually works. Define it with eyeshadow. Apply matte lipstick to a thin brush and paint a sharp arrow at the tip of the eyeliner. Outline the lips with a red lip pencil and put on lipstick. Add little horns to the hairstyle. And if you choose the good side, you'll need some glow. Apply highlighter or sparkly eyeshadow to the eyelid. Cut wings out of a band-aid. Attach them starting from the outer corner of the eye to the temple. Define the outline of the wings with blue eyeshadow. Remove the band-aid. Trace the outline of the wings with a white eye pencil. Draw angel feathers. Add details and shades with a blue pencil. And some white glitter. Apply some light lip gloss to the lips. An adorable angel or a naughty devil? And who is sitting on your shoulder on Valentine's Day? Even if you have a short, edgy haircut, there's no reason to ignore love on Valentine's Day. Don't fight it! Place a heart stencil onto short hair and apply pink spray hair toner. Use different sizes of hearts. There you go! Now you are the most romantic gamer this Valentine's Day! Look! Isn't it sweet? Valentine's Day is a day when you really want a special hairstyle. Very special! One that no one else has. A hairstyle from the bottom of your heart. And here's an idea. Put your hair into a ponytail and divide it in half. Twist it and shape the twist into a heart. Fasten the end of the ponytail with a hair tie. And now we need some matching hair clips. Cut chopsticks. Make a cut in them and put in a hairpin. Fasten with hot glue. Paint the chopstick silver. Glue a feather to the end of the stick. Make a heart out of light clay and glue it to the end of the other half of the chopstick. Let the clay harden. Coat it with clear nail polish and sprinkle with glitter. I borrowed these arrows from Cupid. I hope he won't mind. I'll shoot the arrows into my hair and no one will break my heart today. If your love is real, you blossom right away. Got a bouquet stuck in your beard and hair? No big deal. The important thing is these flowers are from you. Cupid got sick, but today is the worst day to call in sick. Achoo! Whoops! One wrong sneeze and an arrow hits a head instead of a heart. Sorry, it was an accident! Cut a chopstick in half. Coat it with gold acrylic paint. Cut arrow parts out of sparkly foam paper, the back and a heart. Two pieces of each. Glue them to the ends of the sticks and fasten the arrow to a headband. A Cupid's arrow through a head? That's a weird diagnosis! 
Now all my thoughts are only about love. Everyone around me will get some affection. No exceptions. Because there's no such thing as too much love. Even if you have no one to celebrate Valentine's Day with, you can always celebrate your love for Troom Troom. We'll accept you just the way you are, even if your hair is greasy. Oh, that's a great ponytail. You just have to add a matching hair accessory. Cut letters out of foam paper and two hearts. Hot glue the letters to a hair clip. Decorate it with rhinestones. A love hair clip? How cute! It makes my day special even without romance. Did you oversleep on Valentine's Day? But Cupid is calling you. What? A date? But I'm not ready. My boyfriend likes my natural beauty. If only he knew what it really takes. Red alert! Natural makeup requires supernatural efforts. Let's get started. Soft, wavy hair and curlers on the strands near the face. Smooth out the skin with a concealer. Don't forget your under eye circles and tiny blemishes. No one is supposed to see my actual skin color. Apply lipstick in dots to add blush to the cheeks. Some to the tip of the nose and the eye crease. Blending is the most important part. Apply highlighter to a brush and spray it with makeup setting spray for a more natural effect. Apply it onto cheekbones and the brow bone. And no contouring. Slightly define the lips with a pencil, only on top and at the bottom. Only apply lipstick to the inside part of the lip so it looks natural. Blend it out. Curl your lashes. Apply mascara. Here he is. I just need to take off my hair curlers. All of them. Phew, I did it. Happy Valentine's Day, my darling. You always look so natural. Ew, is that poison? Your baby hair won't let you do a nice hairstyle full of love? We know how to tame your frizzy hair. Dampen soap with micellar water and apply it onto a spoolie. Brush the tiny hairs near the forehead with it and style them into an elegant wave. Shape a heart. And what do you do with the rest of the hair? Give it a rainbow heart. Style your hair on one side from the part smoothly using hairspray and a comb. Create a heart with gouache. Can't pull it off? It's hard to do it on your own. No big deal. Ask Rosie to help. My friend can paint a heart way better. Apply strips of rainbow colors shaping a heart and let your masterpiece dry. This is why you need friends on Valentine's Day. Listen, I met my dream guy. Look, whoops, he is my dream guy too. It's the same guy. The strongest girl will win. It turns out that this guy doesn't waste time. What? Another girl? As if two wasn't enough. That's so rude. Karma will come for you. There you go. We are alone on Valentine's Day again. This holiday isn't just for uniting the hearts of lovers, but also the hearts of friends. Separate hair to shape half of a heart. Make a Dutch braid. Only add strands to the braid on one side. Do the same with your friend's hair. Put the rest of the hair of both friends into one braid. Complete the hairstyle by making one single braid from the three braids. Oh, that's a great photo backdrop for romantic pictures. This is real friendship. Valentine's Day is right around the corner, 
and I have a pimple the size of my whole heart on my cheek. Bummer, how do I hide it? Stickers? That's a great idea. Attach a cute sticker to your annoying pimple. But that's not it yet. Go hard or go home. Decorate your whole face with stickers. And what about my hair? Decorate it with stickers too. Here's my fun Valentine's Day look. And no one will notice my pimple. We have the pickiest client in our salon today. She wants a very unusual hairstyle for her long hair on Valentine's Day. What should we do? Cover her whole head with kisses? Actually, I just so happen to have a paint roller left after remodeling my place. Put a printed picture of lips onto a sponge and trace it. Cut it out. Glue the lips to a paint roller. Coat the handle of the roller with acrylic polish and sprinkle it with a lot of glitter. Place a separate strand of hair onto a piece of foil. And apply the roller with safe paint to it. The kiss pattern looks amazing on the hair! I hope the client likes it! Oh wow! This is amazing! XO XO everyone! Did you like our Valentine's Day looks? Then comment below which one you'd copy on February 14th. Would you do a festive makeup look, paint your hair, or put Cupid's arrows into your hairstyle? And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up! Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so that you don't miss new Valentine's Day ideas from Trim Trim.